Do you want to plot a list of locations on a map? Then break out a subset of your plotted points based on the location and create a list for mailings or sales calls? This three-minute video shows you how using Microsoft MapPoint. Hi, Keith from My Point Exactly here. We help you maximize your productivity with today's mapping and GPS tools. Check out the rest of our free training topics at MyPointSales.com. You know, I'm often asked about the differences between Microsoft Streets and Trips and Microsoft MapPoint. The short answer is, the base functionality of both softwares is the same, but MapPoint includes additional powerful analysis tools not found in Streets and Trips. One very useful tool in MapPoint is the ability to identify push pins you've uploaded to the map in a specific geographic area and then export all the points associated information to a Microsoft Excel file where you can use it to create mailings and call lists. Now Streets and Trips also has a function that allows you to export a GPX file, but it doesn't export all the info associated with the push pin to an Excel file like MapPoint does. Here I have a map of business locations in Massachusetts. If you need instruction on how to import points, sign up for our training and check out Lessons 3, Preparing the List, and Lesson 5, Import the List. Now, I want to conduct a mailing campaign to all Eastern Mass businesses within the Route 495 corridor. To do so, I make sure my Drawing Toolbar is active by right-clicking in the Menu Bar area and checking Drawing. I can use a couple of tools here to grab the points I want. Since 495 defines a circular area around locations I'm looking for, I could use the Radius tool. If I want to be a little more exact, I can use the Freeform tool to more precisely define the area I'm looking for. When you use the Freeform tool, after you draw your area, always right-click on the boundary line and choose Close Curve. Now, regardless of what tool you use to define the area, click on the boundary line to highlight it. Then right-click the line and choose Export to Excel. And there you go. The information associated with each push pin has been exported to an Excel file where you can use it to import to a CRM, create mailing lists, and more. So that's how you export push pin data to an Excel file using Microsoft MapPoint. For Streets and Trips users, you can use the same techniques we saw here to define an area and export to a GPX file. I hope you found this video useful and head over to MyPointSales.com to learn more tips and tricks for using mapping and GPS to increase your productivity.